things first before I get too far into anything else. Sosuke! You have earned Proud Ace. Congratulations on becoming congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Sasuke. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. So I'm an ace pilot now. Hard to believe. You almost sound like you're unsatisfied. Why? I don't feel like I'm all that special. I'm just a soldier. The other day I have my orders and try to get them done in one piece. That's all. It is very like you to keep things minimal and grounded. But I also know you're not being entirely truthful here. You do have your priorities and your biggest one. Of all is protecting Kaname as best you can. It might not be a log entirely logical mentality of the soldier, but I still find it to be an entire an admirable thing. I learned there's more to being human than living and working completely rationally. The beauty of humanity lies beyond that, and I hope to see that from Sasuke. So not much lines from Sasuke this time. Hmm. There's so much I want to say. Me too. I don't want to crush everybody's dreams, so just this once I'll keep quiet. That would be a big help. Goodbye. Or, goodbye, Mr. Fumo. Yes, I owe you one. Well, I'm sure Angie doesn't want Momoko and the gang to know about Lickety, so we could probably call it even. By analyzing the battle between you two today, my tactical processing capacity was able to acquire that equivalent to 200 attack points. Uh, huh. It's an honor to be of service. Oh, and by the way, I repaired and repaired that you know what, so I'll be able, so you'll be able to keep using it in combat. Thanks, Nine. But be very careful when you attach and detach it. If you should pop out of that cute little Bontacoon, this will all have been for naught. Got it. This time and this time only, I found the excellence of my sensors to be a curse rather than a blessing. <laughs> Aww. So I got the tack point, so I just got fully reimbursed for the tack points. Ooh. For that. Licky T doll! Hey! Alright, so, uh, with the bill kiss. I wish I had one more slot. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> hmm. Or just having like one of the male pilots come in, just see like like see um Botacoon just in a hangar somewhere, just turn around and walk away like I don't even want to know like one of the Yamato pilots or something like that. Uh, I have decisions here for gear stuff because for the sake of role play, I'd love to equip. Um. Oh. Famous VA also voiced Tuxedo, uh, Tuxedo Mask. Aha! I see. <laughs> that went pretty good. Um, let's keep the range up. I'm gonna miss having the, the hit point boost. 
but like the big thing with Abilicus is its mobility anyway. So I'll drop that. And for the sake of roleplay, you lickety doll. Now I've got, um, I'm gonna keep Sasuke in the Arbalest for now. Because of Bontacoon, at least until I like run some serious upgrades on Bontacoon. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we're Bontacoon, already max armor, already max mobility. Um... I want to like max out your, before I do this, most of your stuff is, um, uh, some of the stun rod, everything is ammunition based, so energy upgrade isn't much of a thing. Like I probably want to do like a full health upgrade. Sixty-three thousand for max health, that's not bad. Uh. But probably like a full HP upgrade. And then do my six weapons before I have um uh Sasuke pouting that full time. Back to suborders, since then we've now cleared this. Alright, and patrol, who's close to still close to being ace? Belt, Lottie, Tobia. Didn't know he would like be around so long that he'd gotten closer to Ace by now. Ryoma, yep. Uh Banagur. Uh Setsuna, Saburuda, and Maito are going back soon. Got them. Um XP. We want the people who are the lowest level. So again, Rue, Ellie, Picha, Captain Tesla Rosa. And then, going else at random, go. up and a bunch of extra cash sorry so uh quick game save and we have two more dlc missions um before we get to the big branching point <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got Back to the Part and The Grudge Among Men. Let's do... Um, Back to the Part first. Record number 08236, loading data. This data is from when Koji's team made contact with Nerve, and we found ourselves stationed at Japan in the Universal Century Dimension. Surrounded on all sides by Neo Zeon, G Hound, Dr. Hell, and the Angels, our intrepid heroes hunker down in Japan while waiting for the opportunity to launch a counterattack. Elsewhere, the Nahal Argama is tasked with solo guard duty, but ends up inciting an incident. For the love of, what do you think you're doing? 
Can't say I have an answer for that. I got a question myself. What got, what's got you all riled up, Captain? Do I have to spell it out for you? The Nalhara Ogham is acting as, as a lone wolf right now. They're watching us like a hawk. During this critical mission, you... You... So what you're saying is the soccer tournament in the hangar was a bad idea. Or was it the birthday bonanza in the briefing room? Wait, don't tell me. I wasn't supposed to rock the captain's jacket for the group photo? I'm talking about all of it! Especially the last part. That coat is the badge of someone who's extended through the ranks. Oh, come on, Otto. You should know this. Beecher was the first captain of the Nahar Argama back in Gundam Double Zeta. Shucks, Captain Otto. You gotta get that bee out of your bonnet. I mean, all we're doing is here is yapping on some officer, some yapping on about protecting the supply lines. Officer Liam's not, not even here. Actually, and that's why we're having this little talk. Actually, we should have had it a long time ago. You never ask before you start up with your shenanigans, and now Judo and his friends are getting ideas. Well, I'm kind of the leader. You want to call yourself a leader? You better get those kids in line. I swear I tried to do, but I gotta tell you, they're not too interested in what you have to say. You know how Judo is, and play and play too are, are real pieces of work too. But don't throw that word around. Nah, I can't just give it up like that. I got a rip to maintain here. And besides, it's not like they don't listen all the time. You mean like when you're messing around? I hear them calling you Lee. <clears throat> Captain, what's up? It's nothing. I think you might have spiked your blood pressure with all that rage. You look like a tomato. I don't want to hear it. This is all because you... Ah! Hey! Hey, Captain Otto! Whoa, he's burning up. Aw, oh, man, tell me I didn't actually do this. Are you attacked now? Mm. Captain, I... I'm going to take care of this. Might want to take him to sick bay first. There are enemies coming, but this doesn't feel... I don't know... It does feel kind of, I don't know, sloppy? I know, Ancient Mahiro seemed kind of flustered. I got told to pilot the Hyakushiki. Where the hell is Bicha? No clue, I'm just out here because Mondo said to be. Ahem, welcome ladies and gentlemen. What? That sounds like, no way. Yes, this is Captain Be this is Bicha, only acting captain of the Naho Argama speaking. We got suspected Zio Neo, uh, Neo Zeon fleet making their way here like right now. I'm going to need you to take care of them. Wait, did you just say acting captain? Where's Captain Otto? He's sleeping off one hell of a fever. Oh, and yeah, and I'll be advising our acting captain. Mind filling us in, Ancient Mahiro? Captain Otto did faint, that much is true. Officer Liam's absence doesn't leave us with many people out who have command experience. And Beach has commanded the ship once before, though not with exactly with this crew, so we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Don't you fret, Commander Amuro. Nahar Agama is in my loving hands. She was my first, after all. She was my first, after all. That's what it is. Nahar Agama has its first captain. Well, acting captain. Wright did say the same thing. Still, though, enough yammering. We've got company. Hey, that purple mobile suit is full of frontals. It's the captain of the guard. All the frigging luck. Look at them. Look at all of them. Use those noggins. It'll be a piece of cake. Commander Amuro, lead a team to take out the enemy captain. Judo and Banneker, you're his wing support. The rest of you will be slapping down any stragglers from the vanguard. We're not letting him touch the ship. He's letting it go to his head. But it does make sense. Beecha has the experience. Maybe it's best to let him take charge. Sounds about right. Not that I like it. Quit yap talking and start shooting. Doing this for Captain Otto. The Nahar Arkema is making it through this. Got it. Stay on your toes, Beecha. You better believe it. This is my ship. I am really not liking this. Okay, so our full count. They will not increase. Alright, so it's not full frontal. It is Angelo again. We got plenty of cover. And there. And if I do this right, I can get into cover positions while Zeon, Neo Zeon is still moving through an open area.
I mean, yes, it doesn't tradition like work like cover traditionally, but it'll do. Well, the Quebley's actually have a pretty good range. And because the um, we don't get any take home items or XP, I can just kind of go for the faster takedown. Um, put you here so you can move up into cover later. Unfortunately, it doesn't work towards the kill count for, um... So we only have Beach's special abilities. It worked for boosting kill count to get Judo up to, um being able to hit ace. All right. Yeah, we're gonna use iron wall because that has, that's an over a 50% hit chance. So, the Shiki with length with Eno behind it. Here we go. Bichu would never have let me in the Hyaku Shiki if he didn't trust me. I gotta show him I can fight. I wonder if there's any special dialogue if somebody piloting, piloting the Hyaku Shiki attacks um, full frontal. Wow, no damage. Oh, see you. Well, it's Shard's Gundam Wannabe, so it's one hell of a Gundam Wannabe. Alright, we're going to see, um... Uh, we all need you to tank play. Particularly since the guy has no chance of hitting. Bicha isn't, definitely isn't bad shakes at being captain. But the longer he fights, the more likely he is to slip up. Won't do for him to have too much control. I do really love the attack animations for the um, new Gundam. Like the, the vibe I get from it, I mentioned this before, it bears repeating. Is because the new Gundam is from Shar's counterattack, which a lot of it is taken up with one big running battle. It makes sense for his animations to just be kind of a passing, just quick attack against the opponent as making through making your way through the next part target because you're going through the big pitch battle of like something like uh, Battle of Axis. Um, and focus on hit chance. Let's do zero in. Make sure I get the hit. And let's go to the, to the Gundam Unicorn. Come on, Bicha. Takuya Bakat and everyone else are on the Nahal Argama. I need to do everything I can to protect it. Not good. The enemy is making the Narhal Argama their prime target. What's the plan, Commander? We get their captain out of the picture. That's what's going to win this for us. <laughs> oh, so you figured it out. If only you weren't so slow. Er, ca er, acting captain? We've got an ambush on our six. What? They set us up. It's a trap! 
want the advance party suppressing their mobile suits. Keep them away from the ship. Bicha, get the Narhel Argama away. Shut it, Judo. I'm in command here. Now is not the time. We're making our stand here. Mobile suits, shoot down the captain. We do that before they get the Narhel Argama. Rather, we do that before they get the Narhel Argama, and it's our win. You know what you're doing, Bicha. We're playing decoy to lure them in. Bicha, it's time to put your money where your mouth is. Hell yeah. It's time to learn how Shangri-La plays. All right. I don't have enough focus yet for the Mega Particle Cannon, but the good news is they are like all up in my line of fire, and I am in a position that gives me def positive defense and evasion modifiers. Like, not a lot, but enough. With 400 hit points, it means I can like just actively drop people. Alright, so you're, you're no good, but like 90% hit chance, 100% hit chance. Let's go with you, you're 100% hit chance, and you're just right there. So your beaches command and dialogue. No place like home, or something like that. Not bad, not bad at all. And I'll be damned if the captain's chair isn't comfy as all get out. Your order is acting, Captain? Oh yeah, let's give this baby a spin. I really don't know if we should be doing this. I just think that we're stick that because we're on the gun on the Nahar Argama, we are sticking with the Gundam Unicorn music instead of the music for Gundam Double Zeta. Um You don't have enough focus for the High Maker Cannon yet. Actually, next one's going to be the steps to, um... Give Badiger a multi-action here. Going with the kind of new for music. Damn it! How about you quit playing around? This is bad, Beecha. We can't keep this up. Yeah, let's just come to that. We'll step back just this once. Hehehe, <laughs> that ship is already mine. If there's attack when the captain withdraws the ship, but I already know which route you'll take. So go. Go and meet your death. People have got a special surprise waiting for you. Now our argument needs to retreat. Now what route should we take? What's it, Pizza? How the heck did they... Now, destroy them! What the hell? They're right in front of us. What is up with these guys? You want to be in the crosshairs? Fine then. I know how to take care of this. Wait, yes, we have the uh, map attack, which I had not powered up enough yet to use it myself. Otherwise, I would clear some troops out of the way and use that to clear a path to the enemy boss. All oh, right, I love me a big catch. How could they? Is the Angelo? You're you're thinking you're fighting a trained, proficient 
not proficient, a, tr a highly trained Earth Federation officer who was transferred over to Londo Bell. You are not, in fact, expecting to fight street rats from Shangri-La, from the Shangri-La colony, who's op who basically fight like Han Solo. Sorry, what in place are you doing? No sound theory would demand a retreat to such a place. What can I call a retreat? What sort of amateur do they have for a captain? Perhaps they're not an amateur. Perhaps they're a genius. No, Angelo, that's irresponsible Captain Tyler. That's not included in this game. I thoroughly anticipate my strategy to find a way around. Only true genius would be capable of such. Something's going on with their captain. His troops are completely shaken. Probably ticked off at the sad excuse for an ambush. It means that now's our chance to turn the tables. I suppose miracles do happen. Er, er, commander? Not bad at all, but we've still got work left. Wouldn't do to let these mecha get away. Got it. We're not letting Beecha beat us. All units, charge! We're gonna smash these guys. Yeah, save some for us, Beecha. Could you move back? Maybe? No, no, you're, you're right there. But like, th you've got, uh, crying out loud. Okay. I had everything under control until the game took control of this. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.